I was young for. Once I am ready, now we have phone calls in Gua, Yemme Casabiasa. Ah, we have phone calls in Gua. Ah, no, young call young cause is here. Uh, this is phone call time, phone call moment. Let me play the video again. As we are waiting for people to come. <laughs> okay, now, uh, mm. Madam, uh, as I'm waiting, let me let me play the video. So it's just phone call time. So let's play the video again and wait for our loved ones to join us. Monkeys play by sizes. Won't check your home. Veronica, God bless you. Apostle, I'll call you very soon. Guys, please sit down. Sit down. Me, me, person, me, I don't want to do it. I just no, nobody should phone no. Once I'm a chairman, once that is chairman, phone. We can't let the kid be any about that case. I was helping people so cheating. Me, I am me. Hmm. Oh. People just share the program quickly and let us do this. Let me call a pastor, my son. No, I'm not a bad man. It's me, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> all right. Uh, people, bless you all for joining. 
um, the second part, um, the line just went dead. I don't know why. So um, let me do the phone calls to that. Oh, Apostle Matthew, you are not there. Apostle Matthew, you are not on camera. First, now on camera, but you say you are not on camera. If you want me to call you, uh, or send a request, and I'll call you. Apostle Matthew say, okay, let me see if um, somebody can ping my number. If you want to call me on WhatsApp, you can call me. So, somebody can ping my number there. So, if you can't call me on this one, you can call me on WhatsApp. Let me see. Okay. This is the time you can phone in and tell me what you saw. We've discussed it. <laughs> Obaya, one coin, coin, coin to me vomit. <laughs> coin, coin, coin to me vomit. No, I can vomit a dollar. Uh, coin, 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 vomit. Uh, uh -huh. Mariama, Canada. Bless you, MLN. Hey, what's up for Debbie? My main friend, what's up for her? Apostle Matthew say, the line is not coming through. Let me see. Still, still, I've tried. Me face my friend Apostle Menyana. Let me see. Uh -huh. Apostle Matthew soon follow. My friend what's up so it's not going through. Okay. Let me end it then. So before proper send my friend and then my friend if I call because Ozavo. Ozavo, I am. Hey, but you hold on. Now we found this Oh, I think so. Yeah, ha, Ozavo. Ah, okay. Amen. In the first place, you know, just for me, you be there, some of you never we in Mupai. Whichever that you went, near Mau or Wall, the physical Mau, Sabi Sabi, Sao would be me, was up. I said, Oh, what about the crown? Now, there's a white man for catch us at Ayasa. Even crown, one more way as fast as you manage to have the other. Oh, one more big crown, Nipana, or ten year old. And two bones and Nipano, Epian, and there be boys security zone, Obian. Thank you. Physical and the body near the SEO. Emma, a yes, I 
Bishop Bernard Taylor, bless you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, that you joined us. Bishop Bernard Taylor, God bless you, sir. If you want to join the broadcast, I'll be very happy. Uh -huh. If you want to come on live, let me say it that way. You're already on the platform. So if you want to call, if you want to. I'm calling. Is it Shanika? Shanika, I'm calling you right now. You can send an invite, say, call me and I'll call you. Yes. And we have, we are discussing this because this he claimed that it's a miracle, it's a prophecy. It's a revelation from God. And we Christians will not allow people to use the... This is blaspheming. This is blasphemous. It is blasphemous. Using the name of God. No, no, no. Like this. <laughs> so you see how far we've come. Oh. Um, Shanika, yes, let your phone be in a triangle, a rectangle shape like this. Okay, like this. If you let your phone be like this, you're able to accept the call. So I'm calling you. You sent an invite. Okay, it didn't go through. Let me see who else is there. So Shanika, do it that way. If you want to come on, um, you are, you are live, you can do so. 
and let's take it from there okay if you want me to call you say call me then i'll call you <laughs> i want you to bring on board this will be to my board then we have a discussion mm -hmm. if you want to call me on whatsapp if you know my number you can do so call me on whatsapp and let's talk about this so-called miracle abba mm. that's right uh-huh oh someone has sent again let me see Shanika, I've been trying you several times, but it's not it's not coming through. So let me try it again. Yes. Hello. <laughs> finally. Yeah, hello, Minister. Yeah, finally. Good yeah. How are you? Good evening. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> good I'm afternoon. How are you today? Yes, yeah, I'm yes. good. I'm good. I'm good. Yes. Yeah, no, I just came across your video, live video. I would like mm -hmm. no more so that I'll start calling. I'm calling from Namibia. So uh, I right. would like to hear really what is more about this page so that I will start following and I'll, I can also do good work here in Namibia. So I I, I find you already started. Uh, I don't know what you're exposing. So I just want to know so that I can see together what we can do in the future to, to protect right. the people of God. Okay, let me summarize it. There is this um prophet, let me say it as it is. There is this prophet who said somebody came to his church with a bag, um, having a bag on, a rucksack bag. And the guy is saying, the prophet is saying that the guy has been to the juju or shrine or voodoo place. And he's done, um, is it, money rituals. So the guy came with an incense, some water, and some other stuff, powder and some other stuff. And also with, with the snake that is going to vomit the money for him. And the snake was in a plastic or a rubber bag, and they've tied the knot. And the snake was in that carrier bag, and that carrier bag was in the rucksack bag. So the man yeah. of God is trying to expose him, saying that this guy is a ritualist, and he has this in his in him right now, and he's going home to do this double money or money ritual thing. So in a way, he's exposing him. And I am. This is where I'm coming from. I'm saying that. This is a staging prophecy. This is something that they put together. If you watch the video and you understand it in Ghanaian language, the things that they were saying, the demeanor, and if somebody has been to the shrine and or they've been to voodoo or juju and they've been given snake to vomit money, is it this kind of snake? I believe they've gone to find some a mango tree and catch a small tiny snake and they put the snake in the carrier bag and the man of God brought it to church and they connect together thinking mm -hmm. that this is God revealing it to him. But I'm saying it's a lie. It's not true. Mm -hmm. It's managing, it's staging. The, he's manipulating people in the name of God and with the Bible. So that is what the program is all about today. Okay. Are you sure what you do, what you do your teaching about? Like, uh, I would like to, because for me to share with other people in, here in Namibia, to all the group here in Namibia. So I would like you to give me a briefing on uh, what you really more focus on. Some pastors say they are focusing on the preaching of the, the second coming of Jesus. Some are saying they are preaching about uh, salvation. So what is what are you really focusing on so that I can have more courage because I'm a reader where I came from. I'm a king. So I would like before I trust my people with whatever came from social media. Uh, it's, it's legitimate. All right. Wonderful. On this platform, is let my light shine. Which Jesus said that we are the light of the world. And through mm -hmm. our good deeds, we are letting our light shine. And mm -hmm. as we are letting our light shine, wherever that we go, we practice what Jesus said we should practice. Number two, on this platform, we educate people for them to know that there are so many falsehoods in the kingdom of God. Jesus mm -hmm. says that in this last days, uh, be careful that no one deceives you. There is so much deception going on in the body of Christ. So many people are saying that God has called them. They are using God's name to enrich themselves. They are using the Bible to do all kinds of stuff. So on this program, we bring the truth in the word of God to people for you to understand what Christianity is. So when the Bible talks about in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, that the Bible says that when Satan people come to church, they masquerade themselves as an angel of light. So you see them as Christians. You see them as part of us. They speak in tongues. They have Bibles. They've been into Bible school. How are you going to know that these people are angel of darkness, but they are coming in as an angel of light so that 
you they will deceive you and take you to their kingdom so on this platform we expose the falsehood or we expose the charlatans that they have secretly crept into the body of christ and the, the third thing that we do is that we empower people we equip christians we build people up for them to know god and knowing god that is all it is so this platform is building you your personal relationship with christ alone and not on any other thing else so that is what this okay. platform is all about okay my my last question uh you know uh since uh let me say it was in april since april the number of men of God prophesying on Facebook have been increasing. Uh, that's why I stood up as a reader. I remember two days ago, I tried to go online like a pastor say I'm prophesying. Guess what? I received a lot of women uh, saying, men of God prophesize me, I need a man, I need a woman. I like uh, So people, So when, when we talk about this, I think it's really getting serious because now uh, people, all they need just a Bible. They go live. When they go live and... Uh, some, because sometimes a, a person can guess. They can say, I'm seeing a woman is watching now. Your name is Maria. Maria, you have a problem of a relationship. By luck, yes, there's Maria watching and having a problem of a relationship. And now I, I, I came to learn a lot of women complaining, uh, saying that uh, they were meant to, to pay a huge amount of money. Because some, some are, especially here in Africa. So now what men of God do is they are going on live. And they tell, they put their WhatsApp number there. So when the woman going to follow them on WhatsApp, they are asking money. So pay a tithe, a tithe, a tithe or a tithe, or pay, what is, grow your seed. They say they must grow a seed. So now women go to the bank and do transaction or what is this, or any form of uh, payment through which they can, so, the money can so, reach uh, the Hold up one second. Your name is Shanika, is that right? Yeah. yeah. All right, Shanika, so you are telling me that one day, you tend to, it's like you came on life as a prophet and people yeah. came on it and they wanted you to prophesy to them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they wanted to, they started telling me their problem. So when I followed them, because I gave my number, because I want to find out as a reader, when I follow them on WhatsApp, they started telling me more. And when I, I oh, what I do, I'm a counselor, I do give counseling. So I just give counseling and they tell me more that in the past, the pastor asked us to pay money. I meet more than 10 pastors on Facebook that are going live, that are prophesying live, and they're asking for money. So that was my intention, because as leader, we have to find out what our people go through so that we can uh, fix Africa. Because exactly. remember what is happening in the body of Christ now. Uh, uh, as leaders, we cannot take, if we cannot take action, we, we are also going to be questioning that, because things are happening on our watch. Mm -hmm. That's true. So what, what are we doing? What are we doing to educate people? Because listen, uh, uh, if you have time, just go through, especially this group here, this Jesus what, uh, just check how many pastors will be live and just go through, check the comment and try to get a contact for some few male women. They will tell you that they spend a lot of money sending to those pastors. They are buying cars every morning. They are banking every morning because sometimes it's their luck. They can prophesy something that the person was in. Because only if you know the Bible that you know that every person is having a daily blessing from God. So sometimes mm -hmm. the pastor came in correction with a blessing that God gave a person and the woman was not having kids all those years. And when the woman have a kid and give a testimony to the man of God hey, that uh, I got a child, which was even God's work, was not a prophet's work. Because that prophet has lived 24 hours. He's, he don't have the time to prophesy for 200 people. I'm sorry to play for 200 people that are watching live. Mm -hmm. so what we need to do? All right. That is, that, is, that is very, very interesting. And that is what um, this platform is all about. We yeah. are here, as I said earlier on, how we can help our people. So this yeah. guy, they manage the miracle in the name of the Bible, trying to tell people that God has revealed this to them. But we know that this is staging. This is something that he's using at the end of the day. People are going to build trust with him and he will use that to, to just... Um, scam them, just take whatever money that he can take from them. And they enrich themselves based on this falsehood and lies. So as, as, as a black man, what can we do to help our people? Because sometimes people don't know and they don't even know. So if we don't bring these things out, if we don't confront what is wrong with our people, Africa is not going to shine. So we have to step out and just make sure we do the right thing. So as you just said, it's very interesting me hearing it. 
you posing as a prophet coming on live and some people came on wanting you to prophesy to them meanwhile they don't even know you they just connect yeah. to you wanting you to solve their problems yeah. for you because probably yeah. you wrote on the caption connect me and i'll bless your life <laughs> you understand yeah. what i'm saying so <laughs> yeah, people but... come on my you, people paste things on facebook yeah. and you will see it oh connect to the prophet i am here to change your destiny and um, the <laughs> prophetic is your direction all kinds yeah. of things and people yeah. who are gullible follow yeah. this strength and they think that you have some magical powers you have some anointing that can turn them to be a millionaire so yeah. in ghana and in nigeria these are the two places that i've come to realize i believe it's going on everywhere that there are some people who has even come out saying that we can double money for you so shanika you can tell me if you give me like hundred dollar i'll double it for you and that's what they are practicing in church it's so shame you know so yeah. if we don't rise up as leaders confront this evil act going on in africa i know it's going on elsewhere but in africa where we come from and we don't change these things we are not going anywhere okay i i uh, okay let me first start with the suggestion okay the suggestion will be the last so but uh i came to know that uh most of the women that are falling victims are uh, victims are, 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 are women that are working police officers nurses teachers because they have money but what i can assure you a lot of these women they, they are in loan they, they are, i'm sorry they are in debt they took loan from the bank to send the money a huge, huge amount of money so that they can get kids in their marriage but it was just because most of these women that are having problem in marriage when i asked them they are saying when they get married they didn't even go through the counseling marriage counseling so now marriage counseling that was supposed to take place again to collect the mistake that's not going well in the marriage end up paying a hundred thousand for them to have a kid because the husband want to live here because he's working and up to now a prophet was met on facebook the man was paid and the prophet have to block her so that she whenever he's going live he, he, she she cannot go to him that's too bad but you said earlier on you said you are a leader what kind of leader are you in namibia um in the kingdom of god i was called as a king but i own an organization uh, which is dealing with human right uh, violation and uh, gender based violence as well as mostly giving counseling and protecting people from uh, a, a human right uh, violation mostly oh, wow that's so yeah. good so human rights violation and all that that's so powerful that's very nice yeah, yeah mostly that's to give nice. counseling to reach people and to make sure that people are living the life that they're supposed to live without being taken advantage of that's what most people look at that's why when i have to go live i just have to check because i i, I did exactly how the what the prophet used to say and i said i started mentioning names just within a second yes then the other lady say yes yes men of god i'm here i'm the one you are talking about <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable so at the yeah, moment you started mentioning names Meanwhile, yeah. you don't even know them. You're using your imagination, and they are saying, yeah. "Man of God, I am here." So prophesy to me. Because you say, "I see a lady right now. You are in debt. You went to a cash loan, and some speaking right now. You are in debt." Then you start talking in tongues like "Rebo Sadara Kasadera Rata Sada." Then they were like, "Yes, yes, yes." God. This is serious. Go deep, man of God. Deep, go deep, man of God. Then you be like, "Okay, okay, follow me on what." That's when because. As a counselor, I cannot leave them go like that. I have to, but now the problem is here. Our people are so in, influenced. When you try to counsel them because we offer spiritual counseling, we go to the Bible, we refer them to the scriptures, and we, we, we teach them how the scripture work. Because a scripture work with understanding, a player with scripture work with understanding. So when you try to explain, they don't believe because they already made uh, to believe in miracle here. Uh, but I don't know, uh, because in Africa, I don't know, how we can able to to meet this on our social media like facebook so that the, the regulation can be put in place so that the, the the pastor that have to do these types of going live can be there must be some law that people have to pass through and some registration so that anything ro- go wrong these people we can hold them accountable I, i i support what you're saying i really support that and let me add this on today's chanika that um, what we can also do is that the way these people are flooding facebook with i see i see i see 
the more we do, we should come on and expose yeah. them. That is the only way to expose yeah. them, you know. So yeah. let us expose those activities. We cannot keep quiet and say that, oh, it's okay. It's not okay. Somebody is going nice. to be in trouble. You understand? Yeah. They are going to take money from somebody. This is purely 419. It is, it's, it's a shame that is happening. But let us all, if you are hearing me, you are part of it, you are a leader, you have knowledge about these things in your own small way, come out and expose it and let the light in everyone shine. When we are all knowledgeable about something, we won't fall victim or prey to all these things. Shanika, I am so grateful. Yeah, what I will do is um, yeah. I will contact you after the program. Yeah. Then um, we will link up them. We will talk a lot and we will see what yeah. we can do behind the scenes to help our people. Yeah, because I want us, if us, uh, which country you came from again? Ghana. Okay, I, I was thinking of, so it's good that I came to know you. What, as, because apart from what happened in South Africa, I, I, I was, I'm more interested to see you as a leader also. Uh, what if in the future as African leaders to come up together like our forefathers did in the past, they were working yeah. together to find mm. freedom for our people. But now the freedom that we need is a, not just economical freedom. We also need freedom from these Christianity things. We need to mo do more conference uh, from all the Southern African uh, country or just all the African countries. We came together, our young African leaders, especially we target women, how our women have to be educated. Yeah, we talk more uh, after this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a good thing that I believe we can all stand. And it, it, you, you can be whatever you want to be, but be modest and be truthful about it. The way these things are going on, I believe, um, Shanika, something has to be done. And um, I take your opinion on board. I'll contact you, then we'll build something from there. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Cool. All right. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Shanika, thank you. God bless you for um, talking with you right now. If you want to also come on the program, this is the time. Okay, just come. Beloved, now we've gotten, um, as my mental freedom is needed in the body of Christ. Too much manipulation and craftiness. And that is the job. That's why I thank you, Michael. Michael, that is the job of the clergy. The reason why Jesus set up the fivefold ministry is for, you go and read Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 16. It's spelled clearly. That we will be, we will not be no longer be infants. Number one, number two, we will not be able to toss back and forth by every wind of doctrine and the deceitfulness and the cunning and the craftiness of men. That is our job, and that is what we are doing on this platform. But you see, people who are gullible, I just like what Shanika said. He is a leader. Um, I mean, freedom fighters, making sure that he's a counselor, empowering people, um, human, um, 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 how do you call it? This abuse and all going on. One day he came live on Facebook. Do you connect me? And people joined, they don't even know him and they are telling him his problems and just speaking tongues, trying to prophesy. Like he says, ah, like he says, oh, right, right, right now. Kai, Kai, is it Kai, right? Kai, right, right now. I see somebody here right now. The Holy Spirit is telling me here, here, right now, that you are sick in some part of your body. The Holy Spirit said he's bringing you healing right now. There is someone that you are in debt. You are in debt. You are a lady. You are wearing blue shirt, blue t-shirt, blue t-shirt, and you're having a black skirt on. As I'm talking to you right now, Holy Ghost is canceling your debt. Connect me right now. Connect me right now. And once you begin to talk like that, people who are broke, who are poor and broke and they are not willing to work strategically putting plans for themselves. They think you have a magic wand. So when they connect to you, you their problems will be over. You have this direction. When you are coming, bring bottle of oil, bring salt, bring honey, bring toffee, bring handkerchief, bring this, bring this. And when you bring it, then we are going to help you come out of debt. My brother, you'll be in trouble the rest of your life. And this is what I hate with a passion. I dislike it. You can call me any names. I don't mind. But scamming people in the name of God is unacceptable in any country. So people, let us rise up. And if you touch them, you've touched the anointed one. These people are thieves. 
They are not anointed. They are thieves. They are corn men. Jesus himself talked about it. Read the whole of Matthew, um, John chapter 10. Jesus said they are robbers. Robbers. R-O-B-B-E-R-S. Read it from Jesus. Jesus is saying that they are robbers. Let us call them by their names. These people are thieves. Yes, Apostle Antobre, they are swindlers. Let me call Michael. Oh, Michael, I cannot see you now. Oh, how? Michael, look as if your camera is off. Michael, your camera is off. Log off and come back on, please. Your camera is off. Log off and come back on. Let me see your camera sign. Then I'll call you right now, Michael. If you also want to join, you can just um, do so. Michael, yeah, Michael, your camera is off. So these people are swindlers, Apostle. Apostle Antobre. They are swindlers. And we must rise up and fight them. This guy who said, I've seen a snake in your back. You can imagine. I want to play that video again. I've seen a snake in your back. <laughs> it's very, very. And he did that. All for what? People, all for what? Think about it. Why was he doing that? Yes, Esther. They are robbers. They are thieves. These people are robbers. And they come with big Bible. Where is my Bible? They come with Bible. And all they do, ka ba 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 sha ta 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 connect me. And you at your home. You don't structure your life. And you think connect me is going to help you. Hmm. Connect me. So you meet somebody. The person pour a bottle of oil on your head. And you think that from there going, favor has come upon your life. So you're going to be a millionaire. Are you sick? No, no, no. Are you really sick that you're going to be a millionaire? Oh, from there going, I'm going to meet an angel. I am going to meet somebody. The person will help me. Lazy person. Instead of we preaching truth, read the Bible and tell me who was in the Bible that though they had the blessings of God upon their lives and they were lazy people. Even when we talk about the blessings of Abraham, Abraham was a businessman, a hard-working man. When even God called him, he's made his money. What are you talking about? Read your Bible. Lazy people hide behind a bottle of oil. Lazy people go in for handkerchief. Lazy people, they want you to turn their life around. All of a sudden, they don't want to work hard. Do you know how many times some people have failed? The pain that people have gone through to be who they are right now. You want somebody to lay his hand upon your head and the next minute, you're going to be a millionaire. You know? Oh yes, Ebenezer, a lot of people are fake. There are so many fakeness in the system. And if we don't rise up and deal with these things, trust me, friends, it will go bad. No. Let me see who is uh, Michael. Let me try Michael again. Michael has come on again. Now he's going through. Yeah, people are perishing for lack of knowledge. And when we are trying to bring the knowledge, they're thinking of something else. Hmm. So let me bring Michael on board. You see, Ebenezer is saying that I work as a minister of God. Ebenezer, nowadays, it's like a taboo. The most annoying part. <laughs> Michael, I'm calling you the mobile money prophet. Oh, Michael. Um, let me try. Oh, Michael is gone. All right. So you just go and watch the video again. Though it's in Ghanaian language, but you watch it and see what the guy was saying. I've interpreted everything. Go and watch the first part. The line just cut off the first video. This is why we are just doing phone calls. So all everything that I said was in the first one. Just go and watch what happens. Okay. And you know, and you see that we have to rise up in our brain. You know. Hey. serving God with your mind is very important, it's equally important as serving God with your spirit 
the fact that you are a Christian, you go to church, doesn't mean you are a fool. That when a man tells you do this, you jump to it. The man of God says jump. He says how high? That is what happens in 1978. 1978, 79. I think 79 or 78. That Warren Jones in America, Warren Jones killed 900 and is it 30 something people? Let me find the figure for you exactly. Um, I will just uh, find it for you right now. Um, all right. Yes. James Warren Jones. James Warren Jones. James Warren Jones. How many people? 918 people. James Warren Jones in America gave his congregation cyanide poison. Cyanide poison. It started gradually. And out of the 918, 304, 304 were children. He killed all of them. Which country right now? Is it Zambia or uh, Zimbabwe? That's a, a prophet gave his congregation bleach. And they drank the bleach. And what happened? About 13 or 18 of them died. Recently, this year, bleach. Bleach. He says, drink this bleach in the name of direction. Are we? What is wrong? And people died. And these people come, Holy Ghost said, Holy Ghost said, Holy Spirit, I see, I see. So if they don't see anything about your life, what is happening? When we are telling people that there are some people, they are, they are crazy. They are hallucinating. They don't see anything. Be careful. When they mention your name, they've got your name from somewhere. They planned with some people. And they connected you to them and they gave your name to the prophet and he's prophesying, mentioning your name, not coming from God, but they've already done their, back, their, 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 their background checks on you. Don't believe that nonsense. And a lot of women fall for these things. Yeah. A lot of women fall. Baba, that guy, that crazy man, huh? James Warren Jones killed people. Quiet. You watch some of the things of um, 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 the big ones. Um, this guy, oh, they, they also in South Africa, um, Africa, and um, Bushiri. You want that? Africa. No, why are we really okay? Look at what is happening in South Africa. Are we really normal? A man can make you eat grass. For what? Because you speak in tongues and he is in the spirit. When people are in the spirit, they command people to eat grass. How? Hmm. Okay, so let me end it today. Let me end it because I'm trying to connect a lot of people for them to come on. It's not working. So people... Let me end it right now. I just came with a short video, and um, that that is that is it. So let me end the program. Then I'll come. We will come your way again on Monday. Myself and my brother. Um, if if you are in London, as I said, my brother, we are having a funeral um, tonight. Um, bye, Michael. Let me see if I can call you on Messenger. Let me see, Michael. Let me try you on Messenger. Okay, Michael, let me try your messenger to see because the way you are commenting, I want to see if I can bring you on board. Okay. Michael, I'm calling you a messenger. I think that will help. Yes, Michael. God bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Uh -huh. I'm really, I'm really touched. It's wonderful. a wonderful program. I have taught you a lot. See, as, as you can see, I'm even tired. I just, you know, ministry is not about just collecting money from people and building your own mansion, but imparting the knowledge of God to change their mindset. Mm -hmm. And that is what uh, we need as ministers to do. I am not saying that if you have a church and the church is well enough to pay you, it is wrong. It is not wrong. But if the body of Christ is not, I mean, well equipped financially to pay.
Mm -hmm. You have to get yourself a job and mm -hmm. work. Mm. By the grace of God, I serve as a prophet in a church. I work 12 hours every day, Monday to Friday. So, so this one will not even allow me to go and what? Scam people for money. Mm. Why? Because I know how how it is for them to get their money from. So, my conscience will not even direct me to go and scam them because I am also working. I sweat. But like you said, those people who don't have anything to do, they will just go and buy anointing oil, come online, give them direction, take their numbers, like our brother was saying, meet them on uh, outside Facebook. Man of God, I tell you, our women are in trouble. Mm. I, have, I, I, I have a lot of women who are contacting me, can you make miracle money for me? I said, you know what? What is miracle money? <laughs> miracle money is baby. You have an uncle who is well, who is rich, and this uncle has money. And maybe I'll pray that God, may you touch the heart of this uh, woman's uncle so that she can give her something to start business. But for me to pray for God to come and deposit money in your account, then I will, I will rather disconnect from you. Then I'll pray to God so that God can connect money in my account directly. So that ah. I will not even come. Prophet Michael, <laughs> Prophet, if God does miracle money, and I claim these prophets are doing in their churches. How come they take offering and they take seed from the, from the people? That is what I have been thinking about. You see, people of God, see, when you tell the truth like this, then you have become the one they hate you. You are the one they, they will hate you. They will tell you, oh, this man is this, this man is this, this man is this. Recently, I went to Ghana. We did a crusade at Madina Market. And, well, you see, when we were preaching, they said, ah, but this one, we don't hear it in Ghana. I say, yeah, you will not hear it because the church you are going is an awkward temple. It's, it is it is all time uh, to do house. They've turned it to an awkward center that you visit. So you will not hear the true gospel. The gospel must transform my life and your life so that even when you go to church, you can give from your heart. Nobody has to impose it on you. Hmm. Nobody has to impose You see, in Europe, you cannot come and force people to I don't know about London, but in Belgium here, in Belgium here, everybody is working. So, if you are organizing a program, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, who is coming? Prophet of God. Who is coming? <laughs> because everybody is working. Because you need to pay your bills. You need to pay your health insurance. You need to pay your, your car insurance. You need to buy fuel. So, even if you are a man of God, the only time you can organize a program it's maybe Fridays and Saturdays. And we don't organize programs because of money. No. We organize programs because we want to impart the knowledge of God into the life of the people. Mm. Prophet, so, lastly, you, you've, been, to... Prophet yeah. you've been watching yeah. the program about this miracle. What do you want to say about that? Do you think yeah. it is, it's a miracle, a prophecy? What, what, what do you want to say? See, I believe in the miracle of God. But what I see and what I some of them are doing, it is totally, excuse me to use this word, nonsense. Oh, it, it is, is nonsense, Apostle. There is no excuse in this. It is purely nonsense. It, is, it, is, it, it has nothing to do with the gospel of Christ. I, I said it in Ghana. They are the old time ritualists who has now, because we don't go to them again in the bush, mm. they've come back in the. They've come to the town. They remove the, 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 the uh, uh, how do you call it, Batakali? How do you call it in the <laughs> English? I don't even know the English name. They remove the Batakali. They remove their charms. And now they have the Bible in suit. They have the Bible in suit. Let me tell you something. My uncle is a king. And this man, he knows Bible. So assuming this man come and tell you he's a prophet, you will believe it. Mm. He is a king. And he, he, he can preach. He is a king. He knows the Bible. All these uh, money rituals, they have time. Why? Because 
Mm. I don't see when when you do the ministry of God, it draws people to come and bless you willingly. You don't even need to beg. I was here in, I was here in Belgium, a friend of mine is a brother, a very well known businessman. He just called me. He's going to do a crusade in Madina Market. He bought a ticket for me. I didn't beg for him. Mm. Wow. So we, we did we, we did an open crusade. We didn't take it to the house, uh, to the church, because it's too much in the church. The people of God need to hear the word of God. And after the program, a lot of the women in the market said, ah, but we don't hear such preachings here. Always come and sow seed. Please, I am not saying when you help a man of God is bad. No. I am not saying that. I am not saying that. But when the man of God tells you, unless you pay to God, God will not help you. This is not from God. Mm. This is not from God. I repeat, I am not saying when you have money and you help a man of God, is bad. No, even in nature, you can do good to people. It's exactly. Blessed. But the moment they touch, unless you pay to God, God will not help you. No, and, and Apostle, let's, let's correct something here. Please, please. We don't pay money to God. How? I always tell people, we don't pay money to God. We give to support the physical church of God. We don't pay money to God. I always tell people, when you come to church, you are just, you see, we pay electricity bills. The, maybe if the, if the church building, we, don't, we, we have not bought it, we pay rent. Mm. So have it in mind that whatever money you are giving is going to help the expenditure of the church. And maybe if the man of God is not working, there is nothing wrong to give him or her some money to take care of themselves because they bring the physical and the spiritual food. There is nothing wrong. But the moment you go to a church and say, connect to me, bring your seed, bring your tithe, so that God will also connect you. Wow. He already connected to me from eternity. The Bible says he knew me in my mother's womb before I was formed. Man of God, that is the scripture. Before I was formed, he knew me. So if you are telling me, unless I pay before God can connect me, then there is no God. Let's close the church and leave there. Yeah. Thank you, Prophet. My time is up and I want to end the program. I'm so grateful. I'll, I'll, I'll contact you probably tomorrow or Monday. I'll call you. Man of God, I don't want to. I don't want to come. He said, pity. My, he said, always my heart bleed. I cry always in my room. I said, why? Why can't hmm. people be so heartless like that? They, 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 they. Uh, anyway, thank you, Prophet. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God. Thank, thank for your, thanks for giving me the opportunity. God You're welcome, sir. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. People, it is, this is my, my heart cry. You cannot be that wicked. Prophet Michael, thank you very much for your time here. I appreciate that time on this platform. Thank you. On say Kofi. Last one then. This is what we're talking about. Staging miracle gone bad. Monkeys play by sizes. Won't check your home. Madam, to me, to check him over. Then I go up a power to say, Obituary. No frog, Mutamago. Would a moon pen of prayer cry? Then I go up a power, which was obituary. No level, no, no. On your own. Maca, Maca. Am I online? And you won't yach me. So. This is the guy, the Sakawa guy. This is the Sakawa guy. You just watch it. Uh. Now, Mr. Obadi, and you know my question here, ah, 
Even or what all be physical drama? Or what all be physical drama? Or crowd or bad way? Hey. Many problem. Oh, many problem. We are swimming like many problem. Many problem. Bag, you know, any time. We don't care. Back home, you. Me prefer me be. Me ma wo mo. Me ni ndeni. Ebi you. I wish na se wani fra na wo kan se. Will be some police for how was it police for how many and a day? Shall you a money go at your motion? Nobody should follow. Will be on your name, Master Teacher Mofo. Much under the Kiwi and Ababa Casa or Sepo Fipa saw GT. We are yum. Will be on you. We are exposing you. We are stage. Or power telling you on anywhere. We are stage. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not We are not going to to open the bag for us to see the things that he took from the Juju place. Yeah, he said, leave the shoes alone. What is this? Are you afraid? What is this? It's a handkerchief. What is this? Incense. Okay. Now, the, this is the bag that he said is the snake. Look. This is the bag. They said that is the snake who is going to vomit the money. That is the snake. That is going to vomit the money. That, that is the... That, did you see that? People, so this guy who is been to the shrine has gone through all the ritual processes and they've given him the things to go and chant and conjure money. And this is the snake. Are you <laughs> the snake? Where they find the mango tree somewhere and they caught a small tiny snake and they put the snake in the carrier bag or gonna be a rubber bag, rubber container, and our bonny pop because they so much so some one of the cow on them, and on the national bag. People who do rituals and the, the snake, as I said, me, I listen to Dr. Eastwood Annabelle Life that his father used to talk to pythons. Life and people who conjure these things, they don't put, you cannot contain the snakes. And this one in church, they are afraid because somebody will put his hand in there in the rucksack bag. So they are afraid. So they have to put the snake in a container. And those people, even where that they do the chant, nobody even enters that room. And the guy brought all this to church for what? People rise up. This guy is making name for himself. Trying. Say ni pabi huno. Ha? Say kofi. Obe jidi. Din kwa siya. Say ya. Ghana is Africa. So diye. Ene Ghana. Say ujimia. Ena ujidi. Ujimia. Ena ujidi. Because our people are not thinkers. Enu nana eme ya. We are not thinkers. Instead of we asking questions and thinking, and the same, same, the big question is, the 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 question is,
etire beti o si we fake afi wonu be ka kire so wasakra afi no be nyame adwuma pa people thank you very much i will end it here i will end it here my time is up I'm calling Esther. Esther. Then I'm done. Esther, let your phone be in a rectangle shape, then you're able to accept it. Apostle Barnes. Can you imagine Thompson? Apostle Bans, greetings, my brother. I'm calling someone who I've seen the request for a long time, so let me honor it. Esther, I'm calling you. If not, then I'll end it. Thank you very much. We'll be here again on Monday, okay, of another time of LMLS. Let my light shine. But tonight, if you're in London, Thompson, me patch up bra was off a good bay yinibi. Thompson. Thompson could see. And I'm a me who a numero of thirteen if I was off a bro be nipa panda form. And then he had tenacity and of way could jano. In Timor more land than a numero a quaint dam hook a cram, momo body. A quaint now cry squeezy. January six pm. Address on a page in a so. Mark Aban Ministries. A hey, who scroke off on Cacrabia. Who be moose and the ho. Fly and the ho. Address no so. I was thinking if Croydon at uh, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Pachubia Mumodena or Mrebi Mayen. And 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then Mre, yeah. And thank you very much for your time. Being grateful for you being here. And so, so grateful. Thank you very much. Estes is not going through now. Okay, so let me end it then. Hey, two people have sent their message. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Apostle say you were watching me. Yes, I'm sending it again. Look on your phone. Okay, Esther, it says decline. All right, people, thank you very much. We will come your way again. I'm on Monday. Bless all of you and have a happy weekend. I'll see you.